Hi. Just what exactly do microwave ovens do to food, nutritionally speaking? My name is Hilma Volk, and I had not used a conventional oven more than a dozen times in the last 35 years. In fact, in the last 15 years, I've probably only used a conventional oven three times. And because I've been using microwaves, and usually I only use the range very much to uh, make hard-boiled eggs, and I use a rice maker for rice and lentils and quinoa. Uh, but mostly I just use a microwave because I live alone, and three minutes for a potato? Great! Frozen vegetables? Two minutes? Great! You know, I like the convenience of a microwave. But I got to worrying about, you know, people saying, oh, the nutritional value uh, when you use microwave foods is it goes, you know. So I, two years ago, I got this. It's a <laughs> halogen, <coughs> excuse me, convection oven. And uh, it's this is a Von Chef, and I really like it. But, uh, <laughs> it takes too long, and maybe it's half the time of a regular cooking oven, it depends, you know, what you're cooking, and I probably use this less than once a month. I use it if I buy a family size pack of meat, I don't eat a lot of meat, but let's say I buy a, a bunch of chicken parts, or I buy a whole chicken, or I buy a roast or something, you, you know, you don't want to do that in the microwave, and then whatever's left over I freeze, or What's really good for is I like spaghetti squash, and if I can find spaghetti squash, which last year was hard to find around here, uh, <laughs> I'll heat it up in, in this thing. And like I said, I really like it, but I don't use it much because it's too darn inconvenient for me. So I decided to look up how bad are microwave ovens. So I don't have a research lab, but I can look things up, and there's all kinds of negative articles on the internet, but there's also other ones, too, that are more actually scientifically based. And the first one I came to was from Dr. Uh, Dana Myatt, and I'll have a link to that article in the description below. And I also looked at a couple articles from uh, the Harvard <laughs> Medical School, and from CNN, and Lyft Livestrong.com, but the the largest article is from Dr. Myatt, who disputes a whole bunch of myths about microwave ovens. The first one is that the radiation. Well, there's different types of radiation. Light is radiation. Sound waves are radiation. Heat is radiation uh, coming off our bodies. There are different types of nuclear radiation. There's gamma rays, there's x-rays. Gamma rays and x-rays can break apart molecules. Microwaves are at a lower frequency, and they cause molecules to vibrate, and that vibration causes friction, and that friction causes heat, but it's not breaking up molecules like radiation can, like gamma rays can, like x-rays can, like even ultraviolet ultraviolet light can. So there's a lot of belief that microwaving destroys the nutrient value of food. All cooking destroys the nutrient value of food to some extent, especially water-soluble vitamins like the B uh, and C, and including folic acid. And it's especially true if stuff is cooked in water. But because microwave ovens have lower temperatures and a quicker, <laughs> quicker cooking time, there's actually more nutrients that are saved as opposed to other types of cooking methods. There's also the myth that microwave foods contain more cancer-causing chemicals than conventional cooking methods do. And for things that are grilled, meat grilled on a, a grill, uh, that's far more carcinogenic than m microwave cooking. Microwave cooking does not add to cancer-causing properties. Uh, the, one of the most dangerous for cancer-causing is uh, deep-fried food. It's not what it does to the food to deep-frying, 
it's what the deep fat does to the oils. Could it be vegetable oil or, or even olive oil? Uh, when you heat it up, uh, that's carcinogenic. And so when I first heard of that, I go, French fries, ooh, you know. And people go, well, what if you switch to sweet potato fries? It's not the f potatoes. It's the oil that's superheated for these long periods of time, especially in restaurants. Ugh. Now, what is important is that you not cook in plastics. I use either glass or Corelware. I like Corelware a lot. Or you can use other ceramics too. I like Corelware primarily because it's thin. As far as the microwave causing cancer properties, it doesn't as long as you're using safe dishes. There's the claim that microwave uh, cooking destroys the proteins or damages proteins. All cooking denaturizes proteins. And that's not a bad thing because it helps with the digestion of the proteins. So it's, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> Now you may have heard a report about this kid in the science fair who used microwave uh, water uh, compared to regular water in growing plants and the one using microwaved water did poorly and the other using regular water thrived. Well, that's pretty well been debunked. <laughs> In fact, I did my own experiment, and I used microwave water and tap water, and uh, <laughs> the main thing I found out is I should not grow plants inside. Uh, the results were equally dismal, but they <laughs> had equal amounts of growth on both sides. There was no difference whatsoever. A more solid... Uh, <laughs> experiment, if you will, was done by the website Snopes, uh, which compared boiled water to tap water to, to microwave water and found no difference in the plants. You know, it was a small study, but hey, probably a little bit more research friendly than, uh, than a kid in a science fair project. So, hmm. One of the dangers of microwave ovens is uh, it can superheat water. I mean water that's hotter than the boiling point and uh, this is especially a problem if you have very clean cups and <laughs> boil water in them and you disturb the cup while it's still hot and it could just uh, flare up so uh, be careful of how long you boil water in a cup for one thing if it's a dirty cup hey you're safe uh, but you want to be aware of scalding temperatures you know getting food out of an oven let them cool in there first before you before you disturb them uh, another problem with microwaves is it doesn't cook evenly which can be a problem with meat because uh, you want to make sure every part is thoroughly cooked but conventional ovens don't all cook evenly either in my little halogen oven doesn't cook evenly either so you want to make sure everything is cooked that's why thermometers are important I encourage you to read her entire article because it's very informative and the other uh, three studies I cite you know, basically are very short and it just basically say that uh, very little nutrition is lost in microwaves as compared to other <laughs> means of cooking uh, especially if things are cooked in water. If you steam vegetables, great. There's some foods actually that are, uh, that the nutrition value is better when they're cooked, uh, like broccoli, carrots, and tomatoes. And, but if they're cooked in water, that's not a good thing. So, uh, steaming vegetables is very comparable to microwaving those vegetables as long as you're not using water and uh, one of the studies says to use an airtight container in the microwave and I would personally be leery about that because that could explode it I would think and I'm not about to try that one microwave ovens can't be that good for you why do you say that? Oh, look at you! You look really old for 35. I'm <laughs> not 35. I'm a lot older than that. Oh, well, you look pretty darn good for 102. <laughs> I'm 66. Oh. 
I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> well, I understand that's a pretty controversial subject, so leave your comments below and like it if you want to. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Urgh!